The boy was just born. Parents did not have time to take a good look. They carried him into the escape pod. Because the planet they were on was about to be destroyed, the parents chose to sacrifice themselves. To give their son the only chance to escape. To get him to Earth. The capsule burst out of the planet that was about to be swallowed by a black hole. A similar capsule flew out from next door. The poor boy had just set off. He was hit by a meteorite and his head was spinning. The escape pod next door is very stable. The boy looked through the glass, looking curiously at the Azure planet that was about to land. He was about to land on a noble family, but the little Superman next door got ahead of him. He landed in a prison. The boy was adopted by criminals, became a prisoner, and was named Megamind. The little Superman next door was adopted by nobles. Megamind is very smart. He likes to invent things when he has nothing else to do. Build a cool motorcycle. To keep Megamind on the straight and narrow, the warden sent him to school. Here he met the little Superman Metro Man. Both classmates and teachers loved Superman. Only Megamind as the bad guy. Superman and his classmates always bullied him together. Even the teacher also treats Megamind as a bad boy. Megamind didn't fight back. Instead, he suffered everything in silence. One day Megamind figured it out. Since everyone thinks I'm a bad guy, I'll be a bad guy to show everyone. But on the way to do bad things, either beaten by Superman, or caught by Superman, every two days, he has to be taken back to prison. Metro Man has become a hero. The mayor specially arranged a commendation meeting for him. And Megamind at this time, has kidnapped his girlfriend Roxanne, and set a trap. Superman had just finished cutting the ribbon. Megamind appeared on the big screen, using Roxanne to attract Superman. Superman rushed over as soon as he found out, but he fell right into Megamind's trap. There was no sign of Roxanne. Superman wanted to leave, but it was too late. During the conversation, Megamind learned that Superman's weakness was red copper. Megamind immediately tells his men to pull the switch. A ray of destruction was shot out instantly. The place where Superman was exploded instantly. Megamind never thought. Superman would die so easily. Megamind became the ruler of the city. The whole city became his playground. But as time went on, Megamind felt that life was too boring. Because invincibility is so lonely. This made Megamind feel bored and uncomfortable. Megamind missed the days of being beaten by Superman. So he had a bold idea. He was going to use the dandruff left behind by Superman. To extract DNA. To clone a new Superman. He took Superman's superpowers into a bullet with genes, no matter who he hits. Then he will inherit Superman's ability. He just wanted to go out and try to find someone at random. But at that moment, Superman's girlfriend Roxanne broke into the base. In order to make his plan work, he disguised himself as a human and tried to trick Roxanne into leaving. But he couldn't talk Roxanne out of it. So he asked his assistant to release the machine to scare Roxanne away. But to his surprise, he was captured by the machine. Megamind had no choice but to change back to his real body. When he came back, he saw the gun in Roxanne's hand. He immediately turned back into Megamind to grab, but the gun was fired during the struggle. The bullet was shot into the pipe. The bullet hit Titan who was passing by. After becoming Superman, Titan, the first thing he did was to pick up a girl. He also took Roxanne directly to the tower, trying to get Roxanne to be with him, but Roxanne rejected him mercilessly. On the other hand, Megamind learned that the new Superman he created, instead of defending justice, instead, he only knows how to pick up girls. So he went to talk to the new Superman, and took out the robe he hadn't worn in a long time, put on the tight little leather pants, and the bald head had to be brighter, put on some eyeliner and foundation, he drove the robot to Superman's house, punched through the wall and walked in, what he saw was the new Superman playing a game, instead of defending justice, but also robbed the property everywhere, what surprised Megamind more was that, he also wanted to join forces with himself to rule the earth, Megamind was instantly confused, this fat guy is even worse than me, Megamind was so angry that he jumped on the mech and tried to hit Titan, but Titan knocked him out with a punch, but Megamind was not only not angry, he was very happy, so he played hide and seek with Titan. Titan could not find it, and was teased by Megamind. The more Megamind fights, the happier he gets. The more Titan fought the more angry, Megamind was beaten up into the sky, and then leaps high into the air. Megamind was struck with a fatal blow. Superman breaks the mech with a punch. Megamind felt a little bit of fun. Let's stop here for today. Titan wants to destroy Megamind. Megamind rushed to activate the emergency escape device. He was instantly ejected. Then he asked his men to cover Titan with red copper. He thought he had Titan subdued. 
but the Red Copper was not effective against Titan, Megamind was no match for Titan and fled in a hurry. Superman. Who couldn't find Megamind? So he took his anger out on the crowd. Superman has gone completely bad. Megamind found Roxanne for help. He couldn't figure out why the Red Copper didn't work. Roxanne takes Megamind to the old Superman's secret house, trying to find some clues. But then, they found that the old Superman was still alive. It turns out that the old Superman was tired of his life as a hero. He decided to use the 0.1 second to take a break. Unexpectedly found, a normal life is exactly what he wants, so he decided to fake his own death. Lying that red copper was his weakness, then replaced himself with a skeleton. He fooled everyone. Megamind asked the old Superman to stop Titan, but the old Superman, who had retired, refused, disheartened. Megamind returned to prison, but to his surprise, Titan kidnapped Roxanne, Megamind had to show up within an hour, otherwise, he will kill Roxanne. At that moment, the sky suddenly filled with black fog. Under the watchful eyes of the audience, Megamind made a spectacular appearance. Titan immediately rushed forward. Megamind rushed to save Roxanne on a dirigible. Titan was furious when he got out of the trap. He picks up the fallen building, reorienting himself and threw it at the two men. In the nick of time, Megamind throws Roxanne out of the way, and he was knocked down by the building. Just as Titan was about to strike at Roxanne, Old Superman appeared just in time. Seeing the Old Superman appear, Titan was so scared that he turned and ran, but the Old Superman was actually Megamind in disguise. Titan soon realized something was wrong, turned back again. This time Megamind was no longer able to fight back. He too hid in the invisible chariot. He got the GMO gun, and when he wasn't looking, shot him directly in the mouth. Superman's powers were finally withdrawn. He also reverted to his old self. Super villain. He became a hero who saved mankind. Old Superman was also in the crowd cheering for Megamind. No one is born a hero, but with good intentions, everyone has the potential to be a hero. See you in the next episode.